Hi, I'm Steve Jordan. I'm producing Robert Cray and his new band, actually, because there's a new drummer, uh, Les. Uh, Richard is back with him, and Dover, his keyboard player from 20 years ago, uh, is back with him now. So uh, these guys have known each other for a long time. This is our third project with Steve. I've, and before Richard came back into the band, we had a couple of different opportunities back in the uh, late 90s and early 2000s. You know you move me, baby. Oh, you move me. Oh, you move me. The reason why I'm working with Steve because I like the way he, he does production and how involved he is in the production aspect. Being a, almost like the fifth member of the band, you know coming in and uh, getting everybody, give, getting everybody's heads in the same spot, uh, you know, it, it, that's really important. The outro. Yeah. Do me a favor, do me a favor. Take the piano fills out. Uh, we let the producer kind of listen, listen to the tunes and, and, and take the songs. Objectively. Uh, yeah. And, so you get kind of personally involved with your own songs. Mm -hmm. and the, Steve can objectively look at them and mold them for us. He immerses himself, which is kind of flattering for a guy like me, into your project. And that's pretty neat. He's very involved. I started looking for some material while Robert was on the road with the band, and he was writing, and other band members were writing. And then we got to a point where we compiled all the material and we chose the, what we thought would be the best material to make a, an album that had a certain sound and a feel. Yeah, first time working with Steve, and Steve is uh, like a walking encyclopedia, you know. He knows so much about drums and sounds and uh, engineering and microphone techniques and playing too, because a couple songs he made me really play. I was real laid back, you know, like, oh, yeah, I can get this. But Steve came in and said, oh, no, man, come on, you got to bring it, Les. <laughs> the original material is fantastic. We come in with a bunch of songs that we probably just showed to one another the week prior to coming into the recording studio. We've done a couple of covers that are uh, really wonderful. They're uh, good. Things about to come to an end, the Mabel John tune, which Lou Rawls did and Obi Wright did. We've done an Otis Redding tune, a Bobby Bland tune. Well, we're always laughing about something. I can't tell you exactly what right now. I saw from across the room Must have been a fool moon so This is a band and I prefer to uh, capture performances of bands. So I have them play together as a band as they've been doing for, you know, some 20, 25 years, you know. What, what, what was the question? How long have we known you? What about our history? <laughs> That's a long song, man. We've we known each other quite a long time. Uh, about 15, 16 years old each. Exactly. When we first met, and we're a little bit older than that now. Uh, I met Robert during a Keb Mold tour about three or four years ago. And uh, I shook his hand. I said, man, I love your music. And that's how we got hooked up. <laughs> I just love Robert's music. I love uh, the band. Mama tried to save me. I to make me see the truth, but I pushed her away. Yes, I did. How could you leave me? Where did you go? For one, playing with Robert Richard again is just so great. It's always been so fun. It was my 
Back then, even my blues kind of college education, playing with them because we we're either playing music or all the time we were traveling to the next gig, we were listening to the greatest of the greats. I wanna know.